Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to perform a benchmarking test comparison between HTC U11, Nokia 8, Huawei Mate 10 and Huawei Mate 10 Pro smartphones. All of these devices, they are flagship devices from their respective brand. And now we are going to see that which device is better in terms of benchmarking test scores. HTC U11 and Nokia 8, they come with Snapdragon 835 processor with Adreno 540 GPU. Both of them got 4 GB RAM and 64 GB internal storage. These three devices, they got WQHD screen and Mate 10 Pro got Full HD screen. And Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro got Green 970 processor and Mali G72 GPU. The Mate 10 we got here, it has 4 GB RAM, 64 GB internal storage and Mate 10 Pro got 6 GB RAM and 128 GB internal storage and all of them are running on Android 8 Oreo right now. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Android Benchmarking, Basemark X, Basemark OS 2, Quadrant Standard and Geekbench 4. We have already performed all of these tests to save your time and we will have a look directly on the benchmarking test scores. So let's just start it. So let's just start first of all with Quadrant Standard. And here we go. So HTC U11 scored 35,530. Nokia 8 scored 37,811. Huawei Mate 10 scored 42,986 and Mate 10 Pro scored 40,313. So the winner is Huawei Mate 10, then Mate 10 Pro, then Nokia 8 and HTC U11 is at the last spot in Quadrant Standard. Now let's have a look on other benchmarking tests. Let's have a look on Antutu Benchmarking. And here we go. So HTC U11 scored 178,999. It's just one point below 179,000. Nokia 8 scored 177,079 Mate 10 scored 175,775 and Mate 10 Pro scored 178,859 So the winner is HTC U11 At second spot it's Mate 10 Pro then Nokia 8 and at the fourth position this time it's Huawei Mate 10 now Let's have a look on Basemark OS 2 HTC U11 scored 3124 Nokia it scored 3495 Mate 10 scored 3253 and Mate 10 Pro scored 3177 So this time the winner is Nokia 8 At second spot it's Mate 10 Then it's Mate 10 Pro and once again HTC U11 at the fourth position, but the difference is not much between Mate 10 Pro and HTC U11. And you can also have a look on the individual test score. You can see that in system the performance is best of HTC U11 actually. And if you're talking about the memory, then it's Mate 10 Pro because it got 6 GB RAM and 128 GB internal storage. So this is visible in the benchmarking test scores as well. And if you're talking about the graphics, once again the performance of HTC U11 is the best. And in web browsing, performance of Nokia 8 is the best here. But our main concern is the overall score. And in that, performance of Nokia 8 is better compared to the rest of the smartphones here. So in this test, winner is Nokia 8. Now let's go back, let's have a look on Basemark X. It's a gaming benchmarking test. So basically it gives the idea about the gaming performance of the device. And here we go. HTC U11 scored 44,750. Nokia 8 43,587. Huawei Mate 10 44,775. And Mate 10 Pro 43,710. So in this test, this time the winner is Huawei Mate 10. Second spot is occupied by HTC U11. If you have a look on the result, the test score, the difference is very minute between Huawei Mate 10 and HTC U11. 
then at the third spot it's Mate 10 Pro and then it's Nokia 8 and once again if you compare the test score of Nokia 8 and Huawei Mate 10 Pro you can see that the difference is not huge so both of these two devices they are performing pretty much same and then U11 and Mate 10 are also performing the same but to be fair it's Huawei Mate 10 that's the winner in this benchmarking test and now let's have a look on the last test for today and that's Geekbench 4. First of all let's have a look on the single core score. You can see that the winner is Nokia 8 here. After that it's HTC U11 then it's Mate 10 Pro and then at the fourth position it's Mate 10. And if you have a look on the test scores you can see that the difference is not much between Nokia 8, U11 and Mate 10 Pro and basically between Mate 10 Pro and HTC U11 the difference is only of one point and uh, if you're talking about the multi-core this time the winner is Mate 10 Pro with 6848 at the second position it's Nokia 8 with 6614 third position is occupied by Mate 10 with 6545 and at the fourth spot it's HTC U11. So in this test, overall performance of our Mate 10 Pro can be considered better because the difference is just of one point between U11 and Mate 10 Pro. Now let's have a look on the Geekbench 4 Compute test and uh, here we go. So at the first position once again it's Mate 10 Pro, second spot is occupied by Mate 10, then HTC U11 and after that it's Nokia 8. So as you can see that the performance of all of these devices is great. They are always scoring very close to each other. In few tests performance of any particular device is better and in another test and another smartphone is performing better in this group of flagship smartphone. So if you are going to buy any of these four devices you will be happy with the performance because all of these devices they are flagship smartphones and the performance of any of these flagship smartphone is of top quality. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.